This is all still just lidocaine. Anesthetic. That one was the worst. Yeah. Having you up like this actually makes it the drip a lot more. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> So if you want to look at the screen there, you're going to see kind of two bumps. Mm -hmm. So all, all the black stuff is on the bottom. That's where the, the ultrasound can't reach. But because of the bone, the, the ultrasound waves can't get beyond that. This triangle poking down is your right. meniscus. Okay. See that line there? Yes. No matter how I move the probe, in what direction, mm -hmm. it's still there. It's um, like some of this stuff, some of these are just shadows that are sure that appear because you're not getting a good view right but when you try to when i try to focus and make sure it's that that line there is always there which um makes me suspect that you actually have a medial meniscus tear there. this is your greater tuberosity this is the, the humerus that we're looking at the lesser tuberosity um, this is where the, the supraspinatus actually attaches to this is your bicipital tendon that actually believe it or not goes all the way around to the joint and attaches to the back of the labrum so. A lot of times when the labrum tears, it just pulls that tendon kind of pulling the back of the labrum off. So with like a tear like that, I mean, is that like a severe injury no. or? Okay. We probably all have them. Um, okay. Uh, not all, like little computer guys, they don't probably have tears. All jujitsu guys probably have little ones all over the place. Well, besides the jujitsu, like I really got into like handstand, hand balancing training, so I know my shoulders sort of do take you a do beating. a lot of handstands? Yeah. There's this guy in the Cirque du Soleil I did a couple like private sessions with when he was in Chicago. Oh. And, uh, but man, I just can't do the volume that like he recommends a training program. Just got the prolo done. Got the shoulder and the knee. Double joints, that was pretty, uh, it was kind of rough, I'll be honest. It wasn't uh, too pleasant. My knee feels like it's been injured and swollen, but without the pain, it just feels swollen like I was injured. Shoulder kind of the same. Um, not as bad, probably because it's a smaller joint, I suppose. But yeah, so driving home, and that was uh, just an <laughs> interesting session. All right.